It's Pastor Becky here with the Wednesday Word for December 1st. This coming Sunday, we will gather to worship on the second Sunday of Advent. And as we gather, we will hear Zechariah's song. Now, Zechariah and his wife, Elizabeth, were unexpectedly blessed with a child, the child that we will come to know as John the Baptist. And Zechariah was so surprised that he lost his ability to speak. An angel struck him mute from the time that he heard that he was going to become a father to the time that John was circumcised. And we will hear Zechariah when his tongue is finally loosed and he sings God's praises. Luke chapter 1, verses 59 through 79. Listen now for the word of God. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give him. Zechariah asked for a writing tablet and wrote, his name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed and he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all their neighbors and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, what then will this child become? For indeed, the hand of the Lord was with him. Then his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he has looked favorably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty savior for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant, the oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins, by the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet in the way of peace. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This coming Sunday at peace, we will gather to worship at 11 a.m. You can join us in person in our sanctuary or online via Zoom. We will share the sacrament of the Lord's Supper together. So if you join us via Zoom, get your communion elements ready. If you're looking for a church to call home or a place to consider the peace of Christ, I hope that you will join us. May God bless you and keep you this day and always.